Goth channel. It's a rainy day, and I've decided to only film on such so that I can give the impression of a Ray Bradbury illustrated man story. We're in a proudly self-renovated home gym slash sunroom. It currently has battle ropes, a weight bench, pull-up push-up bars, kettlebell weight vest, weights, and uh, these mats. I mostly use the very lightest weights and these. So today we're going to discuss my personal preferences, how I clean them, the different basic styles that you might want to try out. Um, I would love to hear your recommendations or favorites as well. These are not product reviews, just how I use and clean them as my own personal preference to help encourage you to find what works best for you. These materials aren't ideal, but the ones that we got later on were definitely cleaner. If you don't have the best materials for yours, you can wipe them down, leave them out in the sun for a couple of days if it's warm enough to help with that, and it'll help out a lot if it has kind of a plastic smell to it or if it's vinyl. And this is a bamboo rack that I keep ours on right now, uh, his and hers option. I do wish that I'd found something more natural for these materials, but you always just have to weigh if you already have something, if it's too unhealthy to keep, or if it's better to live out the lifespan so you're not unnecessarily throwing things away. I'm definitely going to have cleaner materials in the future for all of my workout equipment and already have done much better with that. And in the meantime, these are extremely affordable and they're cute, so I really do enjoy them. Basic stretching, yoga, and tai chi, or recreational dance are all aided by being on soft ground or on mats. And if they're one of those that you haven't tried, definitely pick up a new skill. I've been loving playing with Qigong. It's so informative about the energy meridians, the channels in your body and how to stimulate them, like massaging your ears to promote your kidney health which is really cool because it, again, it's like a workout. It's very calming, it's very soothing, and it also just gives you those tips to carry around in your back pocket all day long. Basically, if there's not something you already wanna do on a mat, there's plenty to try out. This is a four full deluxe mat. It would be great for gymnastics or sparring. I use it for recreational dance so I can just jump and spin all day with all that extra padding and I uh, don't do any Broadway moves so it really doesn't hinder me but it does you know cushion any joints and you know I have wider hips so if I'm doing side leg lifts something like this makes everything so much more comfortable and I really want to encourage you to find what makes working out exciting and comfortable for you if we don't use it we lose it right and if all you can think is like oh i have to go into that cold dark room or garage or something like that to work out then it's just not going to be a great time so um yeah make it really fun for you and these are just like working out on a mattress to me they hold up really great and they have these velcro pieces at the top that keep them together they store away really well Again, not my favorite material, so I can put a sarong over it or something else. If you're not currently seeing a chiropractor, then a lot of the things that you can do on mats will help align you. So this um, clicking and grinding nonsense, if you're working out and you're feeling a lot of that, you need to kind of get stuff straightened out and then hit that exercise a little bit harder. And just thinking of jumping around a lot, I wanna mention I have this old trampoline called Plenty, named after his brand, and it's fantastic limb stimulation and really fun to have your own personal trampoline. And with only the most mild difficulty, I'm able to give you an idea how much floor space the two mats together can cover while being velcroed, and so they're very stationary. Now to perform a mystique level back handspring.
Okay, I haven't perfected my form yet. My next favorite mats are the Pilates mats. These are 72 inches long, which is a little bit longer than standard. They're about half an inch thick for a little bit more spinal support because Pilates tend to be a little bit more floor work than yoga. They also make fantastic mats for underneath sleeping bags when you're camping. They're light and don't take up much room for carrying or in the tent, and you'll feel far fewer rocks. I also do bring these inside for watching TV or movies while being able to do stretches and I certainly wouldn't bring the fourfold mats everywhere like that. So these I actually, I don't know, it's a toss up between which one I use more, but definitely these are for a, a little bit less active use than that one. Saving the least for last, here comes the yoga mat. These are super thin. This is actually two of them rolled up together. And it's for more stable and uh, just grounded positions for yoga. So like if you want to do a handstand, of course you wouldn't want all that extra padding. And um, these are just very close to not having anything underneath you at all, I feel. So I actually almost never use these. I've used these just laying outside, getting sun, so that way there's not as much crawling on me, but that's about the extent of it. Because they're to keep you more planted, and I only do really basic beginner poses, it actually doesn't benefit me at all, but I'm sure there are plenty of people who would mostly use these when they're doing yoga or entirely, and I mean, you know, this would be even lighter weight and even easier to carry around if you wanted to go do some yoga poses slightly more comfortably, say on rocks or something like that, uh, boulders when you're out, then again, easier to carry around. I actually, that's a lie. I feel like, no, I think this is lighter. I don't know. I really don't like yoga mats, <laughs> but um, I get, that's why this is a preference sort of video, um, just to kind of give you an idea. If you have any little ones, having a personalized mat for them would probably be pretty inspirational. There are youth targeted videos for follow along that are really fun to do for any age. And I encourage you to find someone that you like working out with on YouTube, a good yoga instructor or something like that to follow along with until you can freehand it yourself a little bit easier. As for how to clean them, we have these to look through, which are all excellent natural household cleaners on their own and only require some kind of uh, water dilution or spray bottle and can just be used to wipe them down. And um, the first one is baking soda, castile soap, witch hazel, tea tree essential oil, and also yeah, lavender essential oil here. So because I'm not super keen on the kind of materials that I have, I'm not going to use the essential oils on these, just, just worried about the caustic nature. Um, <laughs> even if I do dilute it, I just don't want it breaking down anything unnecessarily. And again, that could be totally unnecessary thought processing, but this is how I have to think of things just to make sure that I'm not taking in extra stuff that we shouldn't be taking in and again, that's kind of what I would like to promote is that general mind frame where you're really thinking about things from not so much a paranoid perspective, but just going, oh, how could this interact? Or, you know, how could that thing affect that? Or, you know, that sort of thing. Like I know when people use prescriptions, it can be harder to use some different natural therapies because they might interact differently. Um, you know, a lot of blood thinning herbs if you're on blood thinners or something, you know, like you just have to think about these things, you know, and so uh, these are fantastic. I get white vinegar would be great. I usually have gallons and gallons, but I don't have any right at this exact moment. And, um, and again, if you have a different kind of material or you're just not concerned about it, because again, it would be so traced, it really wouldn't matter. But I'm just saying like that's the mindset. These are also natural deodorizers, and if you want, you can just look online to find some more mixtures and recipes and uh, a little more instruction if you'd like. Also, sunlight alone is gonna do a lot. Like if you really just 
wipe it down with water and then leave it out in the sun or just let it cook on a warm day for a little bit. You've maybe heard of wear a pee, therapizing through what you're wearing. And I really like to wear talismans or trinkets that I've put intention into. I like to wear something like this anchor necklace, which remind me to be a good pirate, or like I have a comic book hero inspired tattoo that in part reminds me to be my best self. So definitely, you know, get your gemstone bracelets to think about healing and promoting higher vibrations when you're working out or just find something that means a little something to you. And for what we want to listen to, I put everything on when I'm working out from Ariana Grande to the Casualties, Aesthetic Perfection, MC Chris, show tunes, show tunes. I'm gonna put some links down in the description. I do for each uh, description, you'll find music videos or uh, clips of movies, stuff like that. Um, I've also been listening to just like a lot of pop punk and country and uh, punk, a lot of like middle of the road stuff lately. I tend to live in extremes and that's part of why I always like to keep balance in mind. I love the heaviest, hardest core music and on the other side, just the light fluff and stuff. Um, I mean, technically, I guess happy hardcore is still considered hardcore to people or it wouldn't be called that. But for me, that's like a really far end away from the heavy metal that I listen to. But anything that gives you that energy when you're working out, if you have some favorite tracks for yourself, definitely uh, let me know. Whether it's music or mats, not a purist, I'm just kind of a be informed and do your bestest and I definitely like to pass along tips that I would have preferred to have known sooner than I actually learned them. And hey, do you have some physical therapy you should be doing? We all do. So no matter how many times you fall off that horse, get back on it, don't just call it chronic and then leave it there like we all do. Like. Just use this as motivation to do at least five minutes of whatever that physical rehabbing is that you're supposed to be doing. And um, if you are one of the few, it seems, that don't need that, then this is your encouragement to do your stretches and keep everything moving the way that it's supposed to. I welcome you to comment, like, or subscribe for more alternative, healthy content. Or if not, you could just send some good vibes my way because we all always need more of that. And I'll be with you in spirit. Let's go break a sweat. While it rains so much, we might need to get into a solar dome at some point.